Hey everybody, Brian with The Lots Project here today to compare my old DeWalt 2.5 gallon 200 PSI air compressor with my brand new Vier 400P uh, portable compressor. All right, so uh, the reason I'm doing the video is we are obviously heading on the road. We're packing everything up and we need an air compressor. We need one that's gonna be reliable and uh, gonna have it on the road to fill up flat tires or if we got low uh, trailer tires when we're getting ready to take off or whatever we need air for. Uh, and around the homestead for the last eight years or so, I've had my DeWalt two and a half gallon uh, tank 200 PSI, can run two hoses off it. It's been a, a tank for me, I've loved it. I've ran uh, small air tools, nail guns, stuff like that off it, used it to blow up tires. I can't even count how many times. Uh, it's it's sat outside, it's, it's worked in the rain, uh, it's been in the dirt and the dust and it's held up great. I have nothing bad to say about it. Uh, one thing i have nothing bad to say about it for what it was and what we used it for uh it did everything i needed it to used a big uh rubber air hose uh had multiple air guns different types i have a digital one too uh kicking around here uh this is just what was on right now but it's big well it's not that big compared to some compressors but when i'm trying to move into the back of my truck all the stuff I own between the truck and the trailer. Um, and I gotta throw this in there and it's big, it's clunky. The hose is a pain in the ass uh, to travel with. So I started looking at options. We took this on the road with us a couple times and eh, it worked, but I like this a lot better. <laughs> so I picked up a Vier 400P. Uh, this is everything that's here, plus a little bit more actually. Uh, compressor, hose, gun everything in this bag so this one right here i measured it before the video is 12 by 16 and 24 inches tall so 12 by 16 base 24 inches tall i have the rubber hose i gotta deal with um yeah so check this out bag for storage 12 by 15 so an inch smaller one direction but instead of 24 inches tall, it's under 10. Um, when the bag sits down, it's actually under almost nine inches tall. So that's a ton of space, comes in the bag. Everything's in the bag here. Got gun, got a gun. Came with it, by the way. There'll be links for all the stuff in this video in the video description, so make sure you check those out. Uh, there'll be affiliate links, we'll get a little kickback. Uh, so now when we really compare things, that's the size of the compressors. Also in the bag, contain is a hose. This hose is long enough for what we're going to need. I have a brand new, uh, brand new hose still in the packaging, still rolled up that we never ended up opening up around the farm. I found it when we were going through our stuff and I'll probably throw that in the truck just for emergencies. If this one blows a, blows a hole in it or I need a little bit more space, I'll have that, I'll be able to open it up. It won't be hard to store because it's still in the packaging. Um, so yeah, that's a nice carrying case. It has some extra pouches for different stuff. It came with a bunch of different fittings for the gun. So yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look at these and the features of each one. I mean, it's workhorse. It, it's a job site. It's a job site air compressor. So you got two air lines, you got adjustable. Um, you have tank pressure, which you can adjust it. Uh, the tank pressure has an auto shut off switch. I think it, it rocks out at 200 PSI. Um, then you have a variable uh, line pressure that you can adjust up and down that uh, sets the pressure for the hose. Uh, you plug the hose in came with these quick connects. I had to put the quick connects on the hose. Not a big deal. So it is, it is what it is. It kept up to small air tools. Like I said, not a problem. Um, plug one thing I was going to mention. So this is, um, 
This is an AC plug, a 120 uh, normal outlet plug. Yeah, the ground's broken off. This is DC, comes with these nice, um, I was playing around with them. They seem to be pretty sturdy clamps. I mean, for the price of the compressor, you would think that they would use some quality parts, but this, this runs on DC off your uh, truck battery, off our solar bank battery, if we're uh, like hooked up to the generator. I think I can get it off the generator too. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a nice option there. Uh, inline, inline fuse. So if uh, things go sideways or things short out, uh, that's gonna blow the fuse, not gonna mess up my compressor. Uh, I think it ran around 300 bucks is, is where we were at when we ended up buying it on Amazon. Uh, this is super small. Uh, I haven't even plugged it in, or I haven't even fired it up yet. I'm not sure about the noise. This is pretty loud. I'm guessing this one's not gonna be as loud. It has auto shut off pressure switch at, uh, I think it was 130 PSI. It's got 150 PSI max. That's all we need for blowing up tires and blowing up stuff like that. I'm not gonna be running tools like I am here. And uh, yeah, so you got the gun, you got the pre-made cables came with it. With These seem like pretty quality ends here. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm completely impressed by what I have. Haven't used it yet, like I said. The biggest thing, so, Big, small, space, that's very important. I could have figured out space. The thing that we are gonna struggle with the most is weight, and there's the difference. This setup with the hose, the compressor, the gun, everything you need to run it, 40 pounds. So, not a big deal. Well, it is. That's a lot of weight for our capacity and, and taking everything we own with us. Everything here in the bag, bag included, everything I need, 14 pounds. So, huge weight saving, more than more than half the weight savings coming in into the truck. So, I'm super excited about this. It's gonna be easier to find a spot to put in the truck. Um, it's gonna be easier to move around if we gotta get to it, if we have to move it out of the way to get something else. I'm not struggling with this. Uh, it's got a handle on the bag. You can, Corey and I both could easily pick it up with one hand and move it. So I'm excited. I'm really glad I bought it. I'm gonna put it through its paces and I will probably do a review video or more than one, depending on, on how things go. Uh, be sure to like this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so and turn on alerts so you see if I get that uh, review video up. I just did an unboxing video so you can check that out too. Share it with your friends. If you're thinking about getting one, you know somebody going on a road that needs to get a air compressor, have them check this video out. I appreciate it and we'll talk to you soon.